guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. Last week on my channel, I posted a Gilmore Girls clothing essentials video, and this week I want to focus specifically on the outfits that Rory and Lorelai wear and styling some of my own clothes into the style on the show. My personal style has been like hugely inspired by this show between both Rory and Lorelai, so I wanted to kind of do a mixture of the two and do different outfits. Some of them will be inspired by Rory, some of them more a Lorelai, so I will let you know which one is inspired by which as we go, but I'll kind of alternate between the two. Anything that is not thrifted or super old, I will link in the description box down below, but yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so here's outfit number one. This one is mainly inspired by Rory Gilmore, although I could kind of see both of them wearing an outfit like this, but maybe styled just a little bit differently. I recently got these boot cut jeans from PacSun. I feel like boot cut jeans are such an essential when doing this kind of Gilmore girlsy aesthetic. I paired with the jeans some Oxford Doc Martens. This top I'm wearing is from PacSun. Um, the last time I checked, it was sold out. This hoodie, they also wear hoodie like zip up hoodies like this all of the time on the show I totally forgot to mention that in my last video but I definitely noticed it while I was re-watching the show um, so there's just like brown zip up hoodie that I've had literally forever this bag that I have is a corduroy bag that I thrifted but the brand is Levi's and then just two accessories I have like a little pendant necklace on and then the JBL headphones just because I feel like that would be a very Rory thing to do, just like leave her headphones on all the time. But yeah, she definitely wear this like to Luke's diner or just like Stars Hollow Books, just kind of like walking around town. That is the first outfit. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, next outfit is inspired by none other than Lorelai Gilmore. This is kind of one of her more like business inspired outfits, like definitely something that she would wear to work at the inn. But I'm wearing these work trousers from Princess Polly. I will link them down below. I'm pretty sure they're still available. And then I have on my heeled Mary Janes. This top was my mom's from like a really long time ago. Lorelai wears a top almost exactly like this in the show. And she also always wears vests like this, especially to work. So I really wanted to incorporate that in the video because of course I also love wearing vests. This bag just like screams mom bag but like in a really good way i literally bought this for my mom a few years ago from christmas it's from kate spade but yeah i think any like big chunky like shoulder bag is definitely like more like gilmore vibes because she's always on the go so she's always gotta pack a bunch of stuff in her bag no lorelei gilmore outfit is complete without a cup of coffee in her hand so yeah, that is basically it. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, next outfit is inspired by Rory, of course. It is definitely inspired by one of her Chilton looks. So I have on this blue plaid skirt, which is definitely essential for the Chilton kind of vibe that she goes for. Hers is definitely a little bit longer because they do have a dress code, of course. Underneath, I have on this button-up shirt that I've had forever, and then I went ahead and did the gray cardigan Chilton look. I know they also have like the blazer one, but I kind of just liked this look a little bit better on me. For my backpack, I did this one from Echo Suzy Vintage. I do have a discount code with them, so I will put it down below. I have on these white socks, and then I also did some Mary Janes from Echo Suzy Vintage, which kind of look like the ones that they actually wear at Chilton with the color block black and white sneaker that they wear. I feel like this would be a great Halloween costume for people that have brown hair to do like a Chilton kind of outfit and be Rory Gilmore for Halloween. I would totally do that if I had brown hair. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the full look. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this is like one of my favorite looks so far in the video. It's obviously inspired by Lorelai. Um, I have on this midi skirt. She wears a ton of midi skirts throughout the show and I'm a huge fan of the midi skirt. I think they're so comfortable and so cute. And then I have on these boots. She also wears knee-high boots all the time. Brown, black, red. I think it's one of her shoe staples in her wardrobe. I really like the way these look with kind of like the longer skirt. Like everything just kind of overlaps on each other. This button-up blouse is from Yes Style, And I will try to link it down below. I'm not sure if it's still available. And then I have on this black bag from ASOS, I believe. She wears a lot of like little shoulder bags like this as well. I feel like her style is very on the go. So I could definitely see her wearing this to work, but I could also see her like wearing it on a date or even like to her grandparents' house just because I feel like she goes from one place to another and is like a very busy woman. So yeah, I feel like it's like 
businessy but also like kind of flirty at the same time which is definitely how i would describe her style but yeah that is basically it let's move on to the next one okay next outfit is inspired by rory again she wears a lot of striped sweaters on the show so i wanted to incorporate this one that i thrifted i have these boot cut jeans on that i found on ebay um, i actually splashed bleach on them so i don't know if you guys can see but there's these like little like orange specks on them at the bottom and it's really annoying i don't know how to fix it because they're my favorite pair of jeans so if anyone has any suggestions on how to get rid of bleach stains or at least like cover it up please let me know but i paired it with these doc martens again this would not be a gilmore girls outfit video if i did not include a jean jacket i think this one is perfect for the show i think it matches perfectly with the ones that they actually wear. Um, this one was my mom's from the early 2000s. The brand is Tommy Girl. What would make this even more perfect is if it had like a little fur trim because a lot of their jackets have that as well. And then I'm just going to add this corduroy bag from Brandy Melville. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely an outfit that she would wear to like the fall festival or just like hanging around town during the fall season. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this exact outfit a lot this autumn. Okay, next outfit is inspired by Lorelai. So this is definitely one of her more casual looks. So I'm wearing these same boot cut jeans that I was wearing earlier. And then I went ahead and paired these boots underneath the jeans. I really like those layered together. These boots are from Dream Pairs. I will link them down below and I do have a discount code with them as well. So I'll put that down there with it. This bag that I'm wearing is from Echo Suzy Vintage. Again, that'll be linked down below with a discount code as well. The shirt I'm wearing, I actually thrifted yesterday and my friend said it was giving him like Hannah Montana vibes, which is definitely correct but i feel like lorelei would also wear a shirt like this she wears a ton of like graphic tees and band tees so i feel like this is perfect for like her kind of off-duty more casual looks she has also worn a headband or a bandana just like this before in the show as well but yeah i feel like this is like a little bit different from my normal style but i honestly really like it and it's like super comfortable and casual and cool and yeah, I think I need to like channel more Lorelai into my personal style. Okay, next outfit is inspired by Rory again. So this one is inspired by that one outfit she wears in season one with that really chunky oversized knit sweater. So that was kind of my inspiration for this one. So I found this at the thrift store yesterday and I was so excited when I saw it, you guys. I think it's like so cute, like perfect for fall and even like winter because it has these little like, like deer or like reindeer on it or something. So I feel like it has a like Christmassy vibe, but also like it's in fall colors, so I can wear it like all season long. Unfortunately, it will not be cold enough to wear this sweater where I live until like December if I'm lucky, but probably not even until like January or February, which sucks. I'm like so frustrated about like the climate that I live in. It's so freaking hot here. I am going to Massachusetts in the fall time, so I'll definitely be able to wear it there, and I'm really excited for that. But I'm wearing the same jeans that I had on in the last outfit, and then I paired this just like casual corduroy bag i feel like she wears bags like this when she goes to yale not really so much in high school that is basically the whole outfit i need to take the sweater off because even just wearing it in my room is like really hot so yeah okay next outfit is inspired by lorelei i feel like this would be a classic date night look for her this dress that i'm wearing is vintage from the early 2000s it was my mom's i wear this one all the time it's like one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe but it has this like umpire waist and it's like a mini length which is just like definitely all most of her dressed up dresses both her and rory have an umpire waist and are a midi length as well um, I'm just wearing these Rapido red ballet flats just to keep it kind of casual. She usually wears a cardigan over on top of dresses like this. So I'm just pairing this red one because she does often wear the color red. And then I'm just pairing it with it this little bag that I had on earlier. And then this necklace I'm wearing is from Every Jewels. I don't know if she would wear a necklace like this. I just like this necklace and I thought it looked cute in this outfit, so I went with it. I feel like all of her date night looks always look very put together and nice, but like they're always very casual. Not casual, but like comfortable at the same time. And this is definitely very comfortable. I feel like Lorelai is always like dressed up, but comfortable at the same time. That's definitely something that she values. Probably one of the more dressier ones in today's lookbook, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next outfit is inspired by Rory. This is like one of my favorite outfits that she wears on the show. It's when she's at Yale. I feel like it's just kind of a perfect representation of that. This skirt I'm wearing is from Princess Polly. It's the Darwin skirt. I have on some Mary Janes with some socks underneath. Those are from Nasty Gal. This is one of my favorite sweaters. It's so cozy and so comfortable and like really oversized. I have it 
tucked in up here, but it is from J.ing. And the bag is from Echo Suzy Vintage. Again, I do have that discount code, so I'll link it down below. I feel like this is a little bit more of a dressy look for Rory. She definitely starts wearing a lot more dressed up outfits and like skirts and everything once we get into the later seasons. But yeah, I definitely like both of her styles a lot in the show, like season one through three, and then the rest of the seasons, there's definitely a difference, but I definitely love them both. So yeah, that is basically the full outfit. Let's move on to the last one. Okay, last outfit is inspired by Lorelai. When I saw this top at the thrift store, I instantly thought of her. I mean, I feel like it is such a good representation of her style and like the early 2000s as well. Then I have on these black jeans. These are also from PacSun. It's the exact same style as the blue ones, just in black. They are new, so they should be still available. So I will link both of them down below. Um, but yeah, the top is thrifted. Again, I feel like it is just so perfect for Lorelai and she would totally wear something like this. I feel like she would wear an outfit like this on any given day, whether she's going to work or not. Definitely, if she was going to work, she would layer a blazer over on top like this one. Uh, I think she's definitely known for wearing these kind of more like fitted blazers to work. This is a corduroy blazer for, actually, this is not corduroy, this is like suede. This is a suede blazer that my friend gave me like five years ago. Yeah, definitely Lorelai vibes with that as well. And then I would just add this bag onto the outfit and that is the full look. I she would also wear this to like a parent teacher conference or something. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe specifically. Okay, that is pretty much all I have in today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was really fun for me to make. I love doing Gilmore Girls inspired videos. And I definitely wanna do more videos revolving around different movies, TV shows, books. Definitely like Twilight is on my radar, Vampire Diaries, Twilight, stuff like that. So let me know what else you guys want to see from me this fall. I have a lot of really fun content coming up, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, all of those will be linked down below as well. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.